Hello everyone and welcome to another British English listening exercise. My name is Dylan and I'll be your English teacher for the day. So how does it work? Well, first you will see an image and hear a question. This will then be followed by a short dialogue. So listen carefully and try to answer the question. We will then replay the clip with English subtitles and we will go through the answer together to see if you got it right. Finally, at the end of the exercise, I will give you your English listening score and also rank the questions in order of difficulty. There is also a mysterious bonus round to look out for in the middle of the exercise, so it's definitely worth sticking around for that. Right, good luck with the exercise and I will see you in about in about 10 seconds for the first question. Okay, first question and we have a woman who is in a supermarket talking to her husband on the phone. The husband is feeling a bit under the weather, which is an idiom to mean that you're unwell. So the question is, what does the woman purchase? Hello? Hi darling, it's me. How are you feeling? I still feel a bit sick. Are you at the shop yet? Yes, I just popped in to get some milk, and was wondering if you wanted anything else. Some tissues would be good, as we are running low. No problem, I will get some for you now. Do you need any more medicine for your throat? I don't think the medicine is really helping to be honest. Do they have any green tea? Yes. I can see some here. Should I get that instead? Yes, please. Okay, great. Then I won't be long. See you soon. Cheers. Hello? Hi darling, it's me. How are you feeling? I still feel a bit sick. Are you at the shop yet? Yes, I just popped in to get some milk, and was wondering if you wanted anything else. Some tissues would be good, as we are running low. No problem, I will get some for you now. Do you need any more medicine for your throat? I don't think the medicine is really helping to be honest. Do they have any green tea? Yes. I can see some here. Should I get that instead? Yes, please. Okay, great. Then I won't be long. See you soon. Cheers. Right, second question, and I hope you know your colours because we have another woman here who is in a stationery shop. If you didn't know, stationery is basically like pens, paper, rulers, stuff like that. So the question is, what pencils does the woman purchase? Hello, I would like to purchase 11 pencils, please. 11 pencils? That is very specific. Yes, and the colours are also very specific. I see. So what colours do you need? Are you ready? Of course. In that case, I would like three red ones, three yellow ones, two pink ones, two blue ones and one green one. Certainly. Can I get you anything else? Did you get all of that? Of course. I have excellent listening skills. Yes, you certainly do. Okay, well, that is all. Cheers. No problem. Thank you for shopping with us and have a great day. Hello, I would like to purchase 11 pencils, please. 11 pencils? That is very specific. Yes, and the colors are also very specific. 
I see. So what colors do you need? Are you ready? Of course. In that case, I would like three red ones, three yellow ones, two pink ones, two blue ones and one green one. Certainly. Can I get you anything else? Did you get all of that? Of course. I have excellent listening skills. Yes, you certainly do. Okay, well, that is all. Cheers. No problem. Thank you for shopping with us and have a great day. Question number three and a couple of mates are talking on the phone and they're planning on getting a coffee later. The question is, where do they decide to meet? Hello? Hi mate, still up for a coffee later? Of course mate. Where do you want to meet? I am just walking back from the office. Do you want to meet there? As tempting as that is, I actually just got back to my house. I see. Should I just meet you at yours then? Mine can be a bit tricky to find. Let's just meet outside our favorite restaurant, and we can walk to the cafe together. Sounds good mate, see you in an hour. Hello? Hi mate, still up for a coffee later? Of course mate. Where do you want to meet? I am just walking back from the office. Do you want to meet there? As tempting as that is, I actually just got back to my house. I see. Should I just meet you at yours then? Mine can be a bit tricky to find. Let's just meet outside our favorite restaurant, and we can walk to the cafe together. Sounds good mate, see you in an hour. Right, fourth question and a man is talking about his plans for the weekend. But the question is, what does the man not plan on doing? Hi Phoebe, it is lovely to see you. It's been a long time. Maybe we could do something this weekend. I would love to, but unfortunately, I am very busy this weekend. Oh right, so you're still taking your cooking lessons then? Of course. My cooking class is on every Friday night. But then on Saturday, it is my son's birthday, so we are going to the amusement park. That sounds fun. So are you still doing your run on Sunday? Unfortunately, the run got cancelled. So we are going for a walk instead. Perhaps you'd like to join us. Sure. That sounds fun. Hi Phoebe. It is lovely to see you. It's been a long time. Maybe we could do something this weekend. I would love to, but unfortunately, I am very busy this weekend. Oh right, so you're still taking your cooking lessons then? Of course. My cooking class is on every Friday night. But then on Saturday, it is my son's birthday, so we are going to the amusement park. That sounds fun. So are you still doing your run on Sunday? Unfortunately, the run got cancelled, so we are going for a walk instead. Perhaps you'd like to join us? Sure. That sounds fun. Question 5 and we have a celebrity chef who is coming to cook in a restaurant. How exciting. She does have a bit of an attitude though just to warn you. Okay, so the question is, what ingredients does the chef need? Hello chef and welcome to our restaurant. Hello. I am here to make sure that you have all the ingredients I need for tonight's meal. Yes, chef. But just remind me again, what is it you needed? Not a good start. I need the following ingredients, and I don't care to repeat myself, 
so listen carefully. Two onions, two mushrooms, three peppers, and a bag of rice. Yes, chef. What color peppers do you want? We have red, yellow, and green. One of each. Will this be a problem? No, chef. No problem. Good answer. Hello, chef, and welcome to our restaurant. Hello. I am here to make sure that you have all the ingredients I need for tonight's meal. Yes, chef. But just remind me again, what is it you needed? Not a good start. I need the following ingredients, and I don't care to repeat myself, so listen carefully. Two onions, two mushrooms, three peppers, and a bag of rice. Yes, chef. What color peppers do you want? We have red, yellow, and green. One of each. Will this be a problem? No, chef. No problem. Good answer. All right, welcome to the sixth question, which is actually the halfway point. So make sure to stick to the end of this one for the mystery round. Right, we have a man who is on the phone and he is ordering a pizza. The question is, what does he end up ordering? Hello, thanks for calling Peter's Pizzas. How can I help? Hi there, I would like to order a pizza please. Well, you have come to the right place. What can I get you today sir? Can I please have two extra large pizzas with chips on the side? How healthy. But unfortunately, we have sold out of chips. I apologize, sir, but we can replace them with something else. Perhaps a salad or cake. Let's go for cake. Of course, sir. Would you like any drinks with that? No, thank you. I have water at home. Fair enough. I will get your order processed now. Thanks for calling Peter's Pizzas and have a lovely evening. Hello, thanks for calling Peter's Pizzas. How can I help? Hi there, I would like to order a pizza please. Well, you have come to the right place. What can I get you today sir? Can I please have two extra large pizzas with chips on the side? How healthy. But unfortunately, we have sold out of chips. I apologize sir, but we can replace them with something else. Perhaps a salad or cake. Let's go for cake. Of course sir. Would you like any drinks with that? No thank you, I have water at home. Fair enough. I will get your order processed now. Thanks for calling Peter's Pizzas and have a lovely evening. Guys, welcome to the bonus round. I know, how exciting is this? For this round, I'm going to be telling you a hilarious joke that I haven't even bothered to memorize as I'm going to be reading it off the script. How professional. Right, so. A bear walks into a bar and he says to the bartender, hi mate, can I have a whiskey and Coke please? And the bartender says, yes, of course, but why the long pause? And the bear looks down and says, I don't know, I was born with them. <laughs> uh, did you get it? Nah? Okay. Wow, what a funny, funny man. Definitely worth subscribing, if you ask me. Right, anyway, for this question, we have a man who is talking to his girlfriend 
about food. The question is, which food does the woman not like? I have a random question for you. Really? What is it? Do you like olives? Wow, that is random. But yes, I love olives. I actually like eating them with cheese. They go really well together. Have you tried it before? No, but that does sound tasty. My friend used to mix olives and peanuts together. Have you tried that before? Seeing as I am allergic to peanuts, it probably wouldn't be a good idea. I love them with crisps though. I have a random question for you. Really? What is it? Do you like olives? Wow, that is random. But yes, I love olives. I actually like eating them with cheese. They go really well together. Have you tried it before? No, but that does sound tasty. My friend used to mix olives and peanuts together. Have you tried that before? Seeing as I am allergic to peanuts, it probably wouldn't be a good idea. I love them with crisps though. Okay, question eight, and a woman is talking to her colleague about what she did last weekend. But the question is, what did the woman not do? Wow. What a tiring weekend. You are always tired. What did you get up to? Well, me and the kids went camping for the weekend. That sounds lovely. Whereabouts did you go? So we drove down to Cornwall, which is right next to the beach. Beautiful. What did you guys do? Well, not much to be honest. I was mainly relaxing on the beach whilst the kids played with their ball. Oh, that sounds nice. What were they playing? Football, of course. Of course. Silly question. Well, I am glad you had such a nice weekend. Me too. But sitting in the office is just as nice as sitting on the beach. That's the spirit. Wow. What a tiring weekend. You are always tired. What did you get up to? Well, me and the kids went camping for the weekend. That sounds lovely. Whereabouts did you go? So we drove down to Cornwall, which is right next to the beach. Beautiful. What did you guys do? Well, not much to be honest. I was mainly relaxing on the beach, whilst the kids played with their ball. Oh, that sounds nice. What were they playing? Football, of course. Of course. Silly question. Well, I am glad you had such a nice weekend. Me too. But sitting in the office is just as nice as sitting on the beach. That's the spirit. Welcome to the ninth question where a student, just like yourself, is talking to their teacher, just like me. Anyway, the student needs a bit of extra help with something. So I want you to look at the teacher's availability and work out when he is free. Thank you for today's lesson, sir. No worries. So, did you understand everything today? I understood most of it, but I was a bit unsure with what you were saying towards the end. No problem, it was quite a hard lesson. Can I help you with any questions? That would be great, but I have classes for the rest of the day. What is your availability for this week? On Mondays, Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I am free from 12 till 2 p.m. However, on Thursdays and Fridays, I am only free from 9 till 11 a.m. 
so, those days could be better if you are busy in the afternoons. Oh, that's great, thanks. I will try to pop in on Thursday morning then. Cheers again. No worries at all. See you later. Thank you for today's lesson, sir. No worries. So, did you understand everything today? I understood most of it, but I was a bit unsure with what you were saying towards the end. No problem, it was quite a hard lesson. Can I help you with any questions? That would be great, but I have classes for the rest of the day. What is your availability for this week? On Mondays, Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I am free from 12 till 2 p.m. However, on Thursdays and Fridays, I am only free from 9 till 11 a.m. So, those days could be better if you are busy in the afternoons. Oh, that's great, thanks. I will try to pop in on Thursday morning then. Cheers again. No worries at all. See you later. Tenth question, thank you for making it this far. Right, for this question, we have a girl who is talking to her class all about her weekend. The question is, in which order did she visit these places? Okay, class, it is time to hear about your weekend. Liddy, would you like to go first? Okay, miss. So, this weekend was very busy for me. It was my brother's birthday, so we went to watch his football game in the morning. After football he was very tired, so we went to the bakery for some cake. After cake, he wanted to go to the museum, so we all started walking there. But then, on the way to the museum, we passed a toy shop, and mum bought him a new robot. He was so happy, and we had a great time at the museum. That all sounds lovely, Liddy. Thanks for sharing. So, who wants to go next? Okay, class, it is time to hear about your weekend. Liddy, would you like to go first? Okay, miss. So, this weekend was very busy for me. It was my brother's birthday, so we went to watch his football game in the morning. After football he was very tired, so we went to the bakery for some cake. After cake, he wanted to go to the museum, so we all started walking there. But then, on the way to the museum, we passed a toy shop, and mum bought him a new robot. He was so happy, and we had a great time at the museum. That all sounds lovely Liddy. Thanks for sharing. So, who wants to go next? Question 11, and we have just one more after this one. I know. Anyway, for this question, a woman is on the phone to her local gym. What are the gym's opening hours for tomorrow? Hello, thanks for calling James's gym. How can I help today? Hi James, I was just wondering what tomorrow's opening hours are. Oh this isn't actually James speaking, my name is John. But don't worry, I am just as strong as James. Um, okay. So what are your opening hours tomorrow then please? Well, we open every day at the same time, which is 7am. However, our closing hours are a bit different as it is a bank holiday weekend. We normally shut at 10pm every night, but today we are shutting two hours earlier than usual. So you are shutting at 8pm? Is that the same for tomorrow as well? Yes, that is the same for tomorrow. Do you need me to repeat anything? No that's great, thanks. Cheers for your help James. Sorry, I meant John. No problem ma'am, I am just as strong anyway. Thanks for calling and see you tomorrow.
Hello, thanks for calling James's gym. How can I help today? Hi James, I was just wondering what tomorrow's opening hours are. Oh this isn't actually James speaking, my name is John. But don't worry, I am just as strong as James. Um. Okay. So what are your opening hours tomorrow then please? Well, we open every day at the same time, which is 7am. However, our closing hours are a bit different as it is a bank holiday weekend. We normally shut at 10pm every night, but today we are shutting two hours earlier than usual. So you are shutting at 8pm? Is that the same for tomorrow as well? Yes, that is the same for tomorrow. Do you need me to repeat anything? No that's great, thanks. Cheers for your help James. Sorry, I meant John. No problem ma'am, I am just as strong anyway. Thanks for calling and see you tomorrow. Class, welcome to your final question. It's very sad, I know, but this is a fun one. For this question, we have a couple of lads who are going to watch some footy because everyone knows in the UK all we do is watch football and drink tea. So the question is, how do they decide to get to the football match? I am so excited for the game, mate. How are we getting there? Yeah, mate, I am gassed. And that is a good question. It is quite a long journey. Should we drive? But if we drive, we can't drink. That is very true. Why don't we get the train? Yeah, that is a good idea, but the train doesn't go all the way to the stadium. Then let's start on the train, and then get the bus to the stadium. That sounds like a plan, mate. What time do you want to meet? 11 a.m. at the pub. Let's do this. I am so excited for the game, mate. How are we getting there? Yeah, mate, I am gassed. And that is a good question. It is quite a long journey. Should we drive? But if we drive, we can't drink. That is very true. Why don't we get the train? Yeah, that is a good idea, but the train doesn't go all the way to the stadium. Then let's start on the train, and then get the bus to the stadium. That sounds like a plan, mate. What time do you want to meet? 11 a.m. at the pub. Let's do this. Right, thank you so much for watching and well done if you've made it this far. You may have noticed that in the last question I used some British slang, gassed, which you can learn all about in my video explaining British slang. How convenient. Sorry. Right, as promised, here is your English listening score and also a list of what I thought some of the easier questions were and what I thought some of the harder questions were as well. Anyway, if you found this video helpful, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. And of course, comment which country you are from. I'm putting two more of my listening videos on the screen now. One of them is at an advanced level. The other one is at an intermediate level, similar to this one, so choose wisely. Right, thank you again for watching and until next time, cheers.